Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of November 11th through the 17th. This is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. So Cancer, for this reading, I am using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck. I'm also pulling you a Blessed Bee Oracle card. Cancer. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the three of wands. So threes are all about growth, expansion. So you're seeing growth here this week, Cancer. Let's see. Seeing growth. Something is growing. Something is expanding. Uh, the three of wands also uh, represents you expanding your horizons. Okay, wow. You have the Three of Wands, Cancer. You have the Empress. Definitely seeing growth. Um, for some of you, that could be you, especially if you're pregnant um, with the Empress here. This is that fertile energy. So if you wanted to conceive, I would definitely give it a go here this week. I definitely see some of you conceiving here with this energy. Um, you or someone around you, you might, you might already know you're pregnant. Um, yeah, I definitely see pregnancy in the cards for some of you. Uh, here we have the seven of cups underneath the empress. For some of you, this could be a desire that you have and, uh, here this week, you could be taking action to bring this, this desire, um, bring this desire to fruition for some of you. Others with the Empress, the Seven of Cups, you might be looking at lots of options here this week. Maybe planting some new seeds with the Empress, no matter if you're male or female. This is that very creative, fertile energy. So for some of you, you're planting new seeds. Um, you will need to be patient, but you're planting seeds. You will see growth with this. Uh, you might have to be patient, but you will see growth with this. Um, those seeds are going to require lots of love, lots of nurturing. Uh, and patience, but yeah, for some of you, you're looking at options. You're, yeah, you're planting new seeds here. Um, what's interesting is the overall energy for you guys for the week, Cancer, is the High Priestess. So very, very intuitive here this week, Cancer. We do have a full moon. We do have a full moon here this week. Um, so yeah, some of you are going to be very, very intuitive. Maybe listening to your intuition when it comes to this. Also, the high priestess is, um, she's mysterious. She's secretive. She's someone who plays her cards close to her chest. So I definitely could be reading for some cancers where um, you're keeping something a secret. We see you looking at options. We see you planting new seeds. Maybe you're not announcing it just yet. Um, yeah, you're keeping things to yourself, which there's nothing wrong with that. And it could be for some of you that you're not completely sure, or at least at the start of the week here, for some of you, you're not sure, perhaps with the Two of Swords. Maybe you're thinking something through. You might need more time with the Two of Swords. This can be someone who is a little hesitant. It, two of Swords is not an action card, so someone who's a little hesitant... They're a little guarded. There's definitely a need to go within. There's definitely a, a, a strong need here to listen to your intuition at this time. Try not to uh, say no to something out of fear. But a decision might be needed um, for some of you with the twos here. A decision might be significant. Um, what's interesting is we have the Two of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. And so this can be someone who's clinging, someone who's stubborn, someone who's clinging to an idea with the Two of Swords. Um, they're protecting their heart. They're guarding themselves. They're saying no. 
they're turning something down, but this could be out of fear. There could be some cancers you're hanging on to something out of fear. Afraid to maybe let your guard down. Again, needing to listen to your intuition. Um, we have temperance here, which represents being more flexible, going with the flow. So I, I feel like some of you need to be flexible at this time. You need to go with the flow, maybe needing to work with others. Um, cooperation for some of you. Allowing for something to happen. Finding that flow. For some of you, this is what's needed, but this is like hesitant. So you might, there's a change that is occurring here around you or or in your life here and you might be a little hesitant cancer so interesting um with temperance maybe needing to weigh the options we have the seven of cups here uh, maybe there's something you're not seeing uh with the two of swords the seven of cups this person is blindfolded here so Possibly needing to take a step back, look at the larger picture, try to gain a fresh perspective. There could be things that you're not seeing uh, with the Seven of Swords, or excuse me, Seven of Cups energy. You're not seeing something clearly. So maybe you don't have all the details, or maybe you're just not seeing something clearly, and therefore, you're clinging to maybe an idea, clinging to what is known for some of you. Now we have the emperor here. So there could be a man. There could be a man around you who's significant. Some of you may be hanging on to an emperor, hanging on to a relationship. Or maybe you're dealing with a man who's very stubborn, dealing with someone who's set in their ways, someone who's afraid to let go. This could be a Leo um, because we have the sun here. We have some Leo energy. Uh, but we had the Empress underneath the Three of Wands. Now we have the Emperor. So... This is a couple um, that is significant. This could be your husband. Maybe he's a little stubborn here this week. Some of you, again, you might be starting a family. So if that's the case, congrats. Some of you, pregnancy is in the cards, that's for sure. If you already have a child, this could be your husband who's very stubborn and cancer, uh, this, this is your energy, the overall energy for the week. So you could be dealing with a stubborn character. This could be why you're maybe playing your cards close to your chest, cancer. You could be doing something and maybe not telling him. doing something your way. Uh, the sun also represents success. Success, happiness, and we have, we have the six of wands here, which is victory. And then we have the world as well, which is achievement. For some of you, a chapter is completing in your life and you're actually um, moving moving on to that next phase, that next chapter. For some of you, this is success. This is great achievement, great success. Some of you are feeling incredibly happy here this week. Yeah, some of you feeling proud of yourself, feeling accomplished. Maybe some of you kept something a secret and that served you well. 
here this week we have we have temperance we have the eight of wands and so weighing the options moving forward moving towards that next chapter others this can be physical travel physical travel that's coming up for you there could be news that's coming in that's going to be significant here this week if you're hearing something this neat this week it would be incredibly positive uh, and for some of you are hearing something and therefore we see you weighing the options maybe you have to make a decision with the twos Temperance can be you taking your time. Temperance um, is also a healing energy. So um, those of you that were dealing with a stubborn character uh, towards the end of the week here, you guys could be working together here at this time. You might feel like things are flowing better towards the end of the week. But let's pull you, let's pull you an additional guidance card, Cancer. Okay, a blessing on your health. A blessing on your health. So uh, with the sun here, for some of you, there's definitely going to be an increase in energy here this week. I could definitely be reading for some cancers where there's some physical healing that's taking place for you here this week. Physically healing, physically having more energy. We have a blessing from your ancestors. So some of you are, are being um, spiritually guided here at this time. So you have ancestors around you. You have your angels, your spirit guides, and your ancestors around you, guiding you here at this time. Uh, especially those of you that you had something going on on the health front. In particular, there can be a male that's around you, a father figure that's around you. And then we have a blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship. So if you were feeling lonely or if you, maybe some of you, you've been single for a while, uh, we see you starting that next chapter here. And so I could be reading for some cancers that uh, maybe you've been lonely, could have been single for a while, but... Maybe you've met someone. That relationship is growing with the threes here. There could be a woman with the empress, uh, a woman around you who's significant. We do have a couple here. So, yeah, some of you may be getting into a relationship. Um, those of you that are already partnered and maybe, maybe you've been feeling a little lonely or you could have been separated from your partner if the relationship was suffering in some way we see you guys working together we see this this balance coming in so very nice cancer overall it's going to be a very positive week for you guys um i see many of you having more energy and and we see success the sun six of wands and the world this is success that is coming to you all right, Cancer. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great week, guys.